Cybersecurity roles are projected to grow by 33% from 2023 to 2033, significantly faster than the average of all other occupations. Technical experts or strategic thinkers, that's a good question. We need to see beyond the keyboard. It's people attacking us and it's people we're protecting. The problem solving skills from the tech geniuses and at the same time a lot of business alignment from the strategic thinkers. You definitely need a strategic thinker but you also need a hacker brain. I would probably say they're both just as essential as each other. One is just curiosity. I want people to understand systems and then understand how to break them. You can't protect something unless you really understand something. Ask a lot of questions, never really take anything at face value and always want to delve a bit deeper. The second big skill is around communication. We need people who can communicate complex risks really simply. I'd say most important is our ability to be able to collaborate. We have to work really closely with all areas of the business, from technology to business areas. I guess the third one is like a yoga-like ability to adapt and change because we're always being attacked by different groups. We're always defending and protecting different things. I'd say it's super important to understand why we do what we do in cybersecurity. It comes down to a passion for really protecting people. Many people still think that cybersecurity is an industry just for technical experts, that we're all sat in dark rooms coding away behind a screen. It's that security operates in the shadows with people wearing hoodies, right? That's really not the case anymore. I mean, we love hoodies, but actually security is playing out in boardrooms, in classrooms and newsrooms. The best thing about cybersecurity is how diverse our skill set is in the community that we're in. If you wanted to move into cyber, the first thing I'd say is to do it now. It's the single most dynamic and exciting bit of technology. I would say it's never too late to join cybersecurity. The industry is so broad, so no matter your background, there'll be transferable skills. You could be working in incident response or program management. It's worth checking out our Vodafone cyber fact sheet because it maps out the opportunities and areas within the teams. And then the final thing I'd say is it's something you have to want to do. There's a huge purpose element to security and working in cyber, right? You're making people safer. If you want to do that, that fuels everything else. So yeah, jump in.